I, I'm, I'm pretty sure some companies could issue a product now already, but that would be a high priced niche product. So mm -hmm. the, the key question is, 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 is when does it come to a, is it a mass product, so, so to say. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. yeah. And this will depend on whether those challenges are solved on, on the way to, to develop it. Mm. And how far we are from, from that? Like, uh, are we talking about like a one year? Are we talking about 10 years, 20 years? What, what, what is the time frame? Well, um, based on uh, what our experts have told us, uh, we think that it's probably going to be um, 2025 will be an interesting year. There's a couple of uh, thresholds there that, that we expect will be will be crossed by then. Um, we think, uh, based on our conversations, that 2030 could be uh, the year when culture meat becomes really sort of commonly available in restaurants and in supermarkets. Um, initially, maybe as a novelty. Um, the um, one of our experts said that in, by 2029 they expect cultured beef to cost no more than five uh, US dollars per pound, which here in Switzerland would be considered a very competitive price for good quality beef. Um, there's uh, another prediction that we got from Luke McQueen. He's a researcher at Harvard. Uh, he believes that high quality structured cultured meat cuts will, without, I should say, without genetic uh, modification, will be commercially available at a cost comparable to that of uh, traditional meat by 2030. So by, by the end of this decade, the beginning of the next. And in our business, okay. actually, we, we're using a, a crowdsourcing approach uh, based on the uh, method by Francis Galton. Uh, and um, we have these expert predictions and then um, lay people can predict on those expert predictions. Um, this has been shown to be a, a nice uh, approach and giving more precise data in the past. Um, and, uh, it's, it's being used here and interestingly for the um, timelines that we have in the report and also in our scientific paper that we recently issued. Um, uh, the lay people predict uh, later than the experts for events that are closer to our current time, whereas um, lay people predict um, to be later than uh, late things to, to happen later for things that are uh, in the far future. So um, we're expecting that it will happen earlier. So that's quite interesting to see and how we um, uh, how, what we experience when when collecting. Uh, those data. Mm. 